2008 uh, Chevy Caprice, which is known as uh, Ke Holden Commodore. We are going to repair the air conditioner. This car has a air conditioner problem. The air conditioner compressor is bad. We are going to replace the compressor and then we will evacuate and fill the system with refrigerant. So here is the procedure we are going to do on this car. To remove the air conditioner compressor, we have to remove something. This is the air box. We have to remove this air box because this is coming in the way. We will remove two nuts for this. Keep them in a secure place. And of course, we have to remove uh, this one already I lose it. This pipe we have to remove. This is for the air air pipe actually, which is going to the plenum. So over here we have to remove it by this way. And of course the MAF sensor connection I have to remove. And then afterwards I have to remove in this air box from here. Half the air box went away and half is over here. This will also come the same way, like this. Now as you can see, the air conditioner compressor is down here, over here. So we will have to remove this bolt and there are two other bolts which we will remove for the foundation of the compressor. They are underneath. So here, one is over here and one is on the rear side. So these three we will remove and then by this way the compressor will come off. But first we have to remove the separate end belt as well. Uh, for the separate end belt we have to lose it from here. We will put our uh, tool and it will come, it will lose and then the separate end belt will come off. So here by this extension we can do it. We have to put it in like this. And then afterwards, in the tightening position, in the tightening position, we have to twist it. And the same time, we will remove the belt from that. Here is our old compressor which we removed, just removed from the car. As you can see, the condition, the black, oily. And here is the, our replacement compressor, which is of course new and uh, very much nice, good in shape. So new, everything is nice from Delphi, of course. So we are going to put this in and here I am just showing you on the car as you can see. As you can see here, just I removed this electrical connection from and another electrical connection which is coming from the pipe and here are the piping. Of course you can see these are the piping, these will go in, these are the pipes which are for the compressor and these will go in. I will just show you afterwards because here to film it, it's a way difficult work because the condition of this location is very very much congested and one hand it could not be even two hands it's difficult work so i will show you afterwards so here as you can see we have set up our compressor for uh, filling air in the system we are going to fill a air in the system so then we will look for the leak and now as you can see something 150 psi close to we will fill in and then we will close Shut off for compressor. Now shut it off, and of course I shut off the gauges also. So here this pressure, as you can see, on the high side, 150 psi. This we will withstand, withstand for uh, somewhat uh, half an hour or one hour in the system to find out the leak. And here is the setup. Of course, I did, just did not show it. Here is the high side. High side is here, as you can see, there is the low side, low side is here, I don't have the proper color hoses, uh, instead red color I just used and the color is for sure not important, only for learners, and uh, here is not a learning process, instead this is a professional work going on, so 150 psi, this we are just going to fill in the system, and we will withstand this air for half an hour, and one, or one hour, once again I am repeating, uh, to ensure that there is no leak in the system. If there is, we will find it. I was sure there will be no leak. There was a compressor problem in this car. So we replaced that. And now, just we are going to check it and then afterwards evacuate and 
will fill in the refrigerant. So here is we are after 40 minutes we are just checking as you can see 150 psi where we were over there we are. So the system has no leak. Now we are going to shift as you can see from the pressure side we are going to go for the suction side over here on the pump and just I am starting the pump. Just started and here what I will do is I will break down the vacuum first, uh, break down the pressure. So that the pressure should be broken down and then afterwards I will evacuate by the compressor. So now you can see the pressure had been dropped to somewhere 30 50 psi. Now I am opening so it will be sucked by the compressor. Both I am opening and now as you can see the compressor is sucking it's zero. It's zero and uh, now it's going on minus it's going on minus you can see and uh, some somewhere minus uh, 29 or minus 25 psi deep vacuum we will do in the system and then afterwards we will refill this we will broker we will be broken down uh, this uh, vacuum with a refrigerant and uh, then we will fill in the refrigerant in the system so this is the way as I show in my previous videos also and this is why I'm showing because by the practice one will learn so this uh, this is a field of practice and skill the proper refrigerant charging in the system in the car so here you can see it's now vacuuming deep vacuum it's going on So here as you can see now we are deep vacuum in the system and uh, we re replaced the pump with the refrigerant cylinder and of course it's opened and here what I will do is I will purge a little bit so that the line will be purged from here. So this much is enough. Now there is no air in the system instead there is only refrigerant in the system in this line. Now we will I will open the low side port to break down this vacuum as you can see slowly slowly I will fill in not all of a sudden instead slowly slowly so you can see now the system is up to 20 psi something 40 psi with the refrigerant so now 60 as you can see this gauge is also going on with and it's slowly slowly going on somewhere up to 120 psi should be in the full recharge is in the full charge system it is somewhere up to 120 psi so we are close enough something 100 90 95 something is there in the system now we will switch on the cars so we'll start and switch on the ac then we will see it will suck the gas it will suck the refrigerant in start the car please and switch on the air conditioner so the rest of the components we fixed as you can see so now our car is starting it is started already ok switch on the air conditioner please switch on the air conditioner switch on the fan the blower yeah so now you can see we will fill more And we'll feel air cooling over here, but I'm not feeling still. So we will feel more. Gradually, we will fill it from the low side. As you can see, this high side is going on. Somewhere 150, it will increase. And low side is also, as you can see, Still I'm not feeling any cooling, so we will fill more.
so now our refrigerant is going on and from this gauge you can see the refrigerant is compressing slowly slowly it is charging to we'll cross somewhere 200 and low side is of course 80 because the uh, rpm is running low the car is slow in speed so somewhere it will give me cooling some point will come and of course i'm feeling a little bit now little little i'm feeling now so here we will stop as you can see the slow the low side is somewhere 35 but it is low and i'm feeling a little bit cooling so i will fill more refrigerant in more refrigerant i will fill in to get more cooling up to some point i will go because yeah i'm feeling a little bit cooling now so high side is going on 200 psi you can see low side is going on 40 psi 35 40 somewhere and cooling of course i'm getting i'm getting cooling so more i will fill So that's it, it's enough. Now I'm getting perfect cooling and over, over here also nice cooling I'm getting. So this is the point where I will stop, no more refrigerant I will fill because at this point, at this point we are having abundant of refrigerant in the system so no more overcharging. And here is of course the happy owner of the car and he was in big trouble due to his air conditioner. Now he is happy enough, he's smiling and testing his car as well. So the refrigerant is there and now he is very very much happy. His face uh, expression is showing something like that. <laughs> so this was what was our procedure. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching, stay tuned and uh, you can see the readings afterwards. And. Uh, now we are perfect 200 psi on the high side and uh, of course 40 30 35 somewhere on the low side so this is varying actually this is not on the one speed because the engine speed is varying so this is thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like